वेलकम अगेन गाइस इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट जे एन के पाथवे नाउ वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द सर्वाइवल पाथवे और सेल सर्वाइवल पाथवे लॉट बट वी हैवन टॉक्ट मेनी मोर अबाउट द सेल डेथ पाथवे और एपोप्टोटिक पाथवे देर आर सम अदर पाथवे लाइक इंट्रेंसिक एपोप्टोसिस पाथवे और एक्सट्रेंसिक एपोप्टोसिस पाथवे बट इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ दोज पाथवे दैट इज जे एन के पाथवे विच लीड्स टू द सेल टू बिकम एपोप्टोसाइज दैट इज द सेल डेथ pathway so let's talk about it jnk pathway is a type of death pathway for sure and in this case we'll see how it works now uh, unlike every death pathway that we'll see inside the cell they have to do two important task one is that they need to turn on turn on the apoptosis or program cell death and second thing they need to establish is to turn off all those uh living or survival survival pathways right these are the two important things uh, a death pathway should do turn on the apoptosis and also turn off the survival pathways and that's what exactly jnk pathway is doing if you see here we have seen the survival pathway inside the cell If you haven't know about that, please I will recommend you to to go back to my channel and you will find videos on survival pathways and those are nothing but PI three K, AKT, mTOR pathways. This pathway is called as the survival pathway of cell. So watch those videos or any at least one video of this combinatory uh, pathway system uh, and then come back here because you will see that this is the AKT pathway that ultimately helps in survival of the cell. so in this case of jnk pathway it needs to turn this survival pathway off and that's exactly what it is doing and in turn it needs to turn on the apoptotic pathway that means it need to turn on all the protein factors and the expression of all those protein factors that are killing the cell that means uh, the ligands and all those chemical molecules like phos like jun sorry phos jun and so on so those are uh, those are simple examples also bad So these are the example of proteins that will kill a cell. So they need to turn on all these things. So what the process? How the process actually works? It be, it, it begins from a particular section. Like JNK pathway is activated when the cell is in stress, any kind of stress, like radiations, uh, UV radiation. It can be gamma radiation and anything else. Once they get this stress, uh, normally, for example, say ischemia, and uh, is one of the situations. In that case, it will turn. a proteins i mean on like like ask1 this is a kind of protein that begins the situation once ask1 is phosphorylated remember it has a k at the end that means obviously it's a kinase you don't need to remember the whole names so once it is activated it will further activate map kinase kinase remember map kinase kinase mkk here so once mkk is activated it's phosphorylated it can further phosphorylate their jnk it's not once mkk is activated remember it further phosphorylates jnk now this is comes the jnk portion because this the downstream processing pathways that are going on here all of them are by the kinases and you know all the kinase enzymes out there they can phosphorylate other proteins to make them activated right so once mkk is activated itself i mean it, it is activated by ask then mkk will activate the jnk now jnk will activate uh, another factor that is inside the nucleus now it's very very important there because up to this time everything is in cytosol mkk jnk sk everything in cytosol but now they needs to finally transmit the signal to the actual transcription mediators that means the transcription factors and the example of transcription factors are phos jun crab and all these things now crab is one of the positive transcription factor which will help the uh, to transcribe all the genes that helps in the survival of the cell So obviously they need to turn on the synthesis of crab there, right? But they need to turn uh, turn off the synthesis of crab there. Sorry, and need to turn on the synthesis of all those apoptotic factors like phos and jun. Phos and jun are also transcription factors, but they are destructive transcription factors. That means they will help to produce all the proteins and they will help to transcribe all the mRNAs. I mean, transcribe all the genes that are coding all the proteins that are required for apoptosis of the cell. so phos and jun let's say here c jun is now activated once c jun is activated or phos is activated those transcription factors will uh, will bring itself attached with the 
promoter of the DNA and then finally transcribe all the mRNA that will code for the proteins like BAD and many other different apoprotic factors, proteases and enzymes that will ultimately degrade the cell and kill the cell. And then finally we have the death of the cell. Though this whole pathway is given for neural death but actually uh, that happens to any other cases. That's how cerebral injury actually takes place by the way. Now, if you look at um, uh, the sequential stages as you can see it here, it can be uh, stress like UV radiation, gamma radiation or it could be the presence of epidermal growth factor, platelet derived growth factor in higher amount when it's not required or it can be the presence of tumor necrosis factor or interleukin 1 uh, during the immune system signaling that is going to show us that some kind of infection is going on definitely and the cell needs to be killed immediately. So that's what going on there. So once all of them are activating the MAP kinases as you can see finally this is the first step MAP kinase playing an important role here because remember MAP kinase pathway is very very important pathway it's kind of heart of the living and death pathways of the cell. So you need to understand MAP kinase pathway very well if you don't know yet you can see video on MAP kinase pathway in my channel uh, and then come back here and pause the video or you can watch through it then in future watch that. So anyways the MAP3 kinase that is the MAP kinase 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 is activated and it's also termed as at the very beginning. Once it's activated then this MAP kinase 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 activates JNKK1 or JNKK2. These are also kinases and two kinases are there right in this case. So just like the MAP kinase scheme here, JNKK1 or JNKK2, two types of JNKs are there and they are activated by MAP kinase kinase kinase. Once they are activated by the phosphorylation, then those JNKs will, the JNKK will finally activate JNK1, 2 and 3. So they are also being phosphorylated to become active. Here they are activated. So once JNKs are activated, now they will bring and activate all the transcription mediators. Now why we call it a JNK pathway? Remember in any signaling pathway there are three important stages. One stage is one stage is the interaction of uh, the receptor with the ligand. This is the very first thing because the signal molecule is outside the cell. Definitely we need to take that signal inside the cell into the cytosol. So this is the first step to do. That is very important. Second thing is relaying the first signal, first signal from the receptor ligand binding uh, to the downstream processes and that's what is do done here by by this map map 3 kinase that's what is done here this is the second step and the third step is that and finally once the signal is passing through several rounds or several molecules here downstream and it reaches somewhere then finally it's the time to insert this signal into the nucleus because remember ultimately the DNA is present inside the nucleus you need to turn on the gene transcription in nucleus. So finally this is the third major step to, to produce certain, certain factors that will go inside the nucleus to finally carry that information and that is the most vital step of all and in this case those factors are transcription factors most of the times like here. Uh, the June C June or FOS whatever and uh, so this is the third most stage so these are the three different stages very very important stages so most of the time uh, the pathway is named after the molecule that is important to convert and relay the signal to the transcription factor level and that's what's going on here also because JNK is the molecule that will transmit the signal to the transcription factors and then they will bring inside the nucleus and start turn on all those genes necessary for the apoptosis of the cell and in this case remember they do two important things one is that they are providing uh, the the apoptosis pathway they are setting up the apoptosis pathway as well as they are blocking the survival pathway like AKT, PI3K, AKT, mTOR pathway they are blocking it preventing the PI3K, AKT and uh, mTOR pathway so these are the things that are provided in a JNK pathway and this pathway is important because ultimately this pathway leads to the cancer uh, not not leads to the cancer is always because uh, apoptosis is an important thing but if this pathway is blocked if the pathway is not possible due to any modification let's say any mutation in the JNK or something like that in that case if this pathway is not possible then the apoptosis or programmed cell death of the cell will, will not be possible and the cell will grow and grow and divide and ultimately the cell will turn cancerous obviously so it's they are leading to cancer always any cell signaling pathway if you, if you follow the track ultimately it will lead to cancer because most of the signaling pathway that we're dealing with either survival or death pathways they are related with the hormones and growth factors uh, as you can see it here these are the these are the 
these are obviously the the signaling molecules for all of these pathways out there these are the actual signaling molecules that are present there always either growth factors or it can be interleukins or tna that can also be a signaling molecule for this type of factor jnk signaling pathway or it could be the presence of any radiation uh, that can cause the cell to die so these are a natural process of cell uh, to keep track on what's going on if it's a uv radiated cell then obviously it will try to kill that cell not to create much more damage in future uh, so that's that's how the whole pathway works and i hope that's helpful if you like the video, please uh, hit the subscribe button to get more videos like that and also share these videos to your friends in all the social networking sites. Thank you.